Hi folks, uh, Mike Barter here again and this time we're going to just move on to some tips and tricks that might help you out in your climbing career. Um, the first one is if you ever find yourself out on a glacier or on a waterfall and you need to build a bella club but you forgot to bring your little expensive hooker or whatever the deal is that you use to retrieve the cord, I'm going to show you a way of doing that that works really well and you know in a lot of cases I've done it just as fast without using any other mechanical advice, device rather, other than the cord itself. And to give you a little history lesson, where I got this idea from was, well, in, back in 89, or some, yeah, about 89, I guess, 86, 88, yeah, 89. The uh, Abelaclavs hadn't really hit mainstream ice climbing yet. You know, we were still using electrical conduit. We were willing to risk our lives on that Mankey conduit because not enough people had uh, used abella gloves at that point. And then when we did start to use them, uh, we would take a clothes hanger and with a you know with a simple little tool, bang, you do this, give it one file, and uh, you can build a dozen of these for practically nothing. You know, whatever your time is worth, 20 minutes. And then um, I remember after we climbed Arctic Dream, I climbed Arctic Dream with Joe Josephson. And uh, we'll get to the top and I, you know, much to my embarrassment now, I was, I still was carrying about three or four pieces of conduit and I was thinking we were going to wrap off. But what Josephson had was instead of like a clothes hanger piece, it's just a piece of mechanical, number six mechanics wire. And he ended up retrieving the bell claw by simply going and making a loop with one end like this. Okay, so he had a loop of wire there, right? And then what he did was he pushed the loop down the one hole and then pushed the cord through the other and then you retrieve it and just give it a snap and pull it out. And it was as simple as that. So I found myself in a situation a couple of years later I'm with one of these uh, on a guides exam and I had left my number six mechanics wire um, on a ninja turtle toy that I stole from the Alpine Club Center in Lake Louise from some kid because it was a really nice one and I know we were going to climb this cool peak and so uh, we climbed A2 and then I looped his uh, ninja turtle toy you know it was about this big sort of thing and then uh, I looped his feet around a rock so that he would stay in place and sure enough he's there I just got a picture of him like I don't know how many years ago now is that it's like 10 12 years and uh, he's still up there but I was coming down and the examiner was you know being a dick as examiners always are and uh, this one was being an exceptional dick that day and so I didn't have my loop and I had to get across this crevasse and he, he insisted on us going down this crevasse going out the way you know even this broken ice fall so what I ended up doing was drilling the holes and then uh, just taking a loop of cord, pushing it down one end, going like that, and I found it just worked perfectly because of the size of this. But here, just let me show you. I'll, I'll just go out to the field and I'll, we'll do okay, So this is the way this works. I've taken the liberty of pre-drilling the bella cloth, and I have it here, one hole, and I have one hole here. And admittedly, you quite often drill the bella cloths shallower than they have to be, or than you would like them to be, but uh, that's not a big issue because these, dam these things are damn strong. So why don't you just click right here and we'll, uh, there's a place where I test the bella cloth and I've only got two centimeters of ice and I've got three or four guys on a three to one pulley system and even they can't break away that little bit. So this has got about this much space of ice and that's what I'm comfortable with. Uh, this isn't even a very good drill job. So first thing I do anyhow I'm just using one piece of cord I'm gonna use the same piece of cord and I just take the bite like that hold it and then I have to shove it in here in such a way that I'm going to be able to intersect the other end of this line through the bite so it'll be like this right and that's how I'm going to retrieve my uh, Broke. So I just push it in there and it's a little tight but no big deal. 
keep pushing it in, keep pushing it in. And this will work anywhere. I mean, you know, I've done this on glacial ice, having to get off Bergstrom's and things like that. There you go. And you do have the liberty of twisting it a little bit if you have to. Push the other one through. So it goes through the intersection. And because it's so tight, um, what happens is it goes through and then bends around and then the column, you know, because of the size of the ice screw, the, the column just holds it together. You just give it a good tug and it pulls in all the slack and out comes the, uh, the uh, Bella Claw. Simple as that. So simple a skier could do it. So over the years, it's, that little trick has uh, saved me tons and tons of time. And you know the thing about this mechanics wire, one really cool thing is I was looking around and I knew I had, here's one of my ice axes, a light ski touring ice axe I used to carry. And what I would do is just take a, a strand of this mechanics wire, wrap it around the head because it doesn't weigh anything, right? And then I would put one, one strand, like there's already one still here, but, and then I'd just put a band of duct tape or maybe a few wraps of duct tape because it's another thing that I'd like to have handy if I need it. And uh, I would always have it attached to my ice axe because I'm not going anywhere in the mountains without my ice axe, right? And I had it with, you know, all my ice axes had that some sort of um, mechanics wire wrapped around it. Of course, I'd always get the odd question from clients of, well, what's that wire doing? And tell them it's holding the head of the axe on. What do you think it's doing? Um, so there's a little trick for you. If you want to have a Bella retriever with you all the time, even when you're walking in the mountains, uh, or you want to tie down a ninja turtle to the top of some summit, um, you can just wrap the mechanics wire around your the head of your ice axe and you've got a really tasteless bad joke at your disposal and you can also retrieve a bell club anytime you want very quickly but keep in mind you can still do what i just did right